rubber band was invented in England in the mid 19th century. The key to its success is of course flexibility. A rubber band can be stretched around items of various shapes and sizes to hold them together. So in the rubber band industry, the possibility of expansion is endless. Like most things in life, the rubber band finds its beginning within a sausage. In order to reach the raw natural resource, we must first free the sausages from their protective embryos. Then a trained professional discards the sausages that do not meet the length requirement. Through a high pressured vacuum, the sausages are then sucked up and joined into a long string using a natural adhesive. This allows the sausages to be easily fed into the grinder, which converts the physical state of matter into a liquid that can be extruded and left to dry. In order to get the iconic rubber band yellow, we must first travel to Denmark, where Lego people are butchered by thousands to harvest their precious yellow pigment. The heads are first severed and separated from the rest of the body. The remaining limbs and torso is efficiently recycled and used to feed the local marine life which assures a healthy level of plastic in their diet. For the heads, the emotions and memory are removed which assures that a bitter taste do not develop later in the batch. The heads are then grounded up and mixed in with the liquefying sausage. After a thorough mix, with addition of heat and pressure, a rubber-like substance is created. The new material is then squeezed, cut, and compressed back into its previous sausage-like form. After a quick rinse, the material moves through a high-precision blade that produces the final product. Rubber bands are all around us, and since its discovery in the 18th century, it has remained to be the basic building block of modern civilization.